members, it's just 5 p.m. I call to order meeting of the panel on public service. This is the first meeting, and we're going to elect the chairman for the panel. May I remind members that according to Rule 77.6 of our ROP, if a member is the chairman or deputy chairman of a related government advisory body, then he shall not be the chairman or deputy chairman of the PS panel. And Arrow P seventy seven seven states that a member shall not be chairman or deputy chairman of more than one panel at the same time. Earlier on, quite a few panels have already elected their chairman and deputy chairman. If our secretariat discovers that members nominated here are already elected chairman or deputy chairman of another panel, uh, they will remind us. Some members have also been nominated to be candidates in other panels, but then uh, the uh, election procedures are not yet completed. And they are entitled to be nominated and elected in this panel. But whether they should be nominated or whether they wish to be nominated uh, is uh, entirely uh, your consideration. It's just for your information, and please uh, clarify beforehand. Now I invite nominations. A valid nomination should be made by one member to be seconded, uh, seconded by another member with the acceptance of the member concerned. Mr. Dennis Paul, I nominate Mr. Jeremy Tam. Jeremy Tam. Seconded by Ms. Tanya Chen. Mr. Jeremy Tam, do you sub accept? I do, Chairman. Any other nominations, please? I nominate Mr. Kwok Wai Kerr. Mr. Martin Liu nominates Mr. Kwok Wai Kerr. Any second there? Mrs. Regina Yip seconds. Do you accept? Mr. Kwok, I do. All right, two valid nominations. Any other nominations, please? I'll count to three, and I'll stop the nomination. One, two, three. Nomination is closed. We'll proceed to a secret ballot. Please distribute the ballot papers. Please refer to the screen here. Number one is Mr. Jeremy Tam. Number two, Mr. Kwok Wai Kerr. Please note their respective number. We have members who are, we have colleagues here, not are members of this panel, but our secretariat will uh, not uh, give our ballot papers to these non-members of the panel. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Please be seated first. Just now we have um, members coming into the room, and I'll ask for members who have just come in if you haven't received a ballot paper. All right, the th with another uh, three. Yes, please be seated first. We should have enough seats for all. For those who have just come in. If you're a member of this panel and have yet to receive a ballot paper, please uh, put your hands up until we see you.
Let me ask once again. Do we have members of the panel who haven't got a ballot paper yet? Hands up, please, if you are, if you do. If there is none, we will start the uh, vote. I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we will cease to distribute the ballot papers. If you already applied the chop, then we will start collecting the ballot papers. Please uh, put the ballot paper into the box personally. Don't ask another person to do it for you, and please don't leave your seat before you have done so. After we have collected all the ballot papers, I invite the two nominators to come out to monitor the counting of votes. Mr. Dennis Quark and Mr. Martin Liu, uh, please uh, be prepared to come out after the ballot papers have been collected. We have issued 51 ballot papers. Let me ask once again, do I have members who are still are in possession of a ballot paper? If not, then we will start the counting. Please mix the ballot papers first. Okay. Please start counting. Number two. 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 Number one. Number two. Number two. Number two. 
Number two. Number two. Number two. Number one. 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 Number two. Number one. Number one. Number two. 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 Number one. Number one. Number one. Number two. Please count once again. Okay, copy now. Nah. Okay, top. Oh. Well, we have issued 51 ballot papers and uh, collected 50. It's acceptable to uh, collect uh, less than we gave out. So, Mr. Jeremy Tam, number 118 votes, and Mr. Kwok Wai Kong, uh, 32, number 2. So, I declare Mr. Kwok elected. Please chair the meeting, Mr. Kwok.
应该系呢份。系诶，喺、呃、度首先多谢。First of all, let me thank、uh, colleagues. Now we'll proceed to the election of the deputy chairman. Ballot nomination has to be made orally by one member and seconded by another member orally, and be accepted by the nominee. So nominations, please, Mr. Quatling, Ah、uh, Dennis Quatling. Mr. Jeremy Tam, any second, Ms. Tanya Chan? Do you accept the nomination, Mr. Tam? Yes, I do. Any other nomination? Now count up to five: one, two, three, four, five. Okay. With. No further nomination. I declare that Mr. Jeremy Tam is automatically elected as the deputy chairman of the panel on public service for the current session. Next, we move on to item two: schedule of meetings for the 2016-17 session. Members, let's discuss. The、um, dates of meetings. Normally, we hold our meeting on every third Monday of the month at 10:45 a.m. So, if members are agreeable, please refer to the proposed schedule of regular meetings tabled in front of you, and please note that for January and April 2017. The dates of meetings have to be separately decided upon. Since the chief executive will deliver his policy address、um, on the 18th of January on 20,、um, and that is the date on on which our meeting will be held, and that will be rescheduled to the 25th of January, 4:30 p.m. and the The meeting in April is a public holiday for the Easter holiday, and it, had, it will be rescheduled、uh, for 21st of April at 10:45 a.m. Any objections? Any other views? If not, then we'll confirm these two dates as our meeting days as well. Items for discussion at the next meeting. The Secretariat has prepared the list of issues. Suggested to be considered, the next meeting will be held on the 21st of November from 10:45 to 12:45 p.m. There are two items to be、uh, proposed to be discussed. One is the overview of the responsibilities and objectives of the CSB, and second is、uh, non-civil service contract staff. Members,、uh, Dr. Helena Wong, Chairman, I would like to follow up.、Uh, item six. Gender profile of the civil service. Under that item, well, I would like to discuss items raised by Emily Lau, which has not yet been dealt with, and that includes、um, also the statutory bodies,、uh, the gender profile of statutory bodies, and the civil service as well, and also for every company department, there is a. Uh, gender focal point. So, can the government tell us、uh, what is happening to that initiative? And also, the gender sensitivity、uh, training. How is that being conducted? Well, thank you for your comment. We'll no,、uh, jot that down, Mr. Charles Mark. I note that for the meeting on the twenty-first of November, that will be. Uh, meet uh, an item on NCSC staff. I don't know whether、uh, we should discuss this together、uh, or separately. The civil or the staff employed by intermediaries,、uh, which are、um, getting outsourced services from the government. The number is getting bigger and bigger, and. It is really prob problematic in terms of the impact on the different grades in the government departments. So,、uh, would you be discussing that? That is the NCSC staff employed by intermediary companies. We will discuss with the administration and give you a reply. Regina Yip, I suggest that 
um, that we discussed the inadequate medical services for civil service. Yes, thank you, Ms. Yip. Mr. Jeremy Tan. There have been a lot of community voices about um, the differential remuneration between the fire service uh, staff and also the policemen. I would like that to be discussed uh, also. Mr. Wilson Orr. I would like to talk about the housing um, arrangements for civil servants. Mr. or Dr. Pierre Chan. Dr. Pierre Chan? Yes. Well, I'm waiting for this mic to be switched on. Well, there are only several items in the list, and I noticed that uh, there is this uh, item five applications of the findings of the pay level survey to government funded public bodies. I hope that this can be discussed uh, earlier. And also agree to um, the item four to be discussed, and that is the uh, ambulance grade for the FSD. I be, a lot of people are concerned about this, so I hope that these two be, can be discussed soonest. Well, there are not too many items in this list, uh, but I'm sure that we will discuss uh, a lot more um, later. Uh, Dr. Priscilla Lam. I wonder whether this has been discussed or not. I would like to talk about the uh, public housing for uh, retirees in the police force. We are very concerned about that. You are referring specifically to the police force or to all civil servants. Public housing for all civil servants, uh, retirees. Well, I just I would like to um, suggest an item specif specifically specifically for the police force. Mr. Yip Kin Yun, I would like to talk about the Gallant Garden, the uh, burial uh, policy. And also, after civil servants retire, they may join private organizations. So, what's happening on that front? Can we review that? Will there be any uh, refinement to the policies? So, we will discuss that with the administration. Any other um, suggestions? No? Okay. Later on, we will liaise with the Secretary for Civil Service on the uh, items to be discussed. If you have any further views, please uh, write to the clerk. And if there is no further uh, suggestion, let's move on to item 4 AOB. Any OB? No? If not, then no OB meeting agenda. Thank you, members.